Okay, I'm gonna make some ranola to go on smoothie bowls or banana ice cream or just with almond milk for lunch. I'm just gonna wing it. I've looked at some recipes. Got some jewel dates. This is walnuts and pecans. Add a little sea salt, some shredded coconut and cinnamon. So I've got a cup of dates, cup of nuts. Might do like four to a half cup of shredded coconut. And then I'll just adjust as needed after I feel the texture. So I just let it run until it's all kind of this crumbly mixture. Yeah, I don't really know what the final texture is supposed to look like. It's more just like unrolled energy bite texture. But we'll just top this with some almond milk and fruit or have it with uh, smoothie bowls for lunch. Mom. Is it good? Mom. <laughs> I think she'll be excited for lunch. It is lunchtime. I'm pretty sure in all these videos I will look very sweaty because I play outside with my daughter or go to the pool and we just got back from going to the grocery store. I wanted to pick up a few more things so that I can complete my raw vegan day. But for breakfast, we, not breakfast, it feels like breakfast because we're making smoothie bowls for lunch with some raw nola that I made this morning. So I think we're gonna do chocolate smoothie bowl base because can not go a day without chocolate. And I'm gonna add some raw zucchini to that and then I made raw nola, so I'll show you what I'm putting in the smoothies. So the base of our smoothie will have the raw zucchini, um, a couple frozen bananas, some berries, and some cacao powder. And I really wanna put something hearty in. I just, that's why I don't eat smoothies a lot because I usually feel like a sugar rush and a crash. So I need to think of something, is nut butter raw? <laughs> I don't know, I miss my peanut butter. I need a look. So normally I'd use my Vitamix, but that's randomly in Ireland at my parents' house. So um, instead of using a really poor blender, I'm going to use, let me turn on some light, my food processor to get a thick smoothie bowl texture because I do not like soupy smoothies. So I think I'll just add hemp seeds and the ranola on top for hopefully some protein and sustenance so that we don't have sugar crashes. Um, I'm so curious if you guys eat raw vegan, how you don't feel like you're on a sugar high all day. I need to look more at recipes and get creative, but all right, at least we're getting in some veggies. Okay, we got baby, mama, daddy bowls, raw nola, and then we're gonna add some hemp seeds. And then I'll probably add peanut butter to Brett and Harper's and maybe to mine if I feel like cheating. But um, yeah, I'll show you the final product. Harper, what do you think of your smoothie bowl? She just asked me to put nutritional yeast on it, which she put on her chia seed pudding this morning. <laughs> oh, this girl. You're a vegan's mom, aren't you? A vegan's baby, aren't you? Baby! Okay guys, it is dinner time. I just got back from a wet, sweaty rain. Um, and I'm gonna have salad. And I made an avocado dressing that's really rich and creamy. But I don't know what to put on no. it. I feel like I'm gonna be starving when I go to bed because I've just been eating a lot of fruit and vegetables. So I need to think of something hearty that has protein in it that will stick with me through the night. But yeah, let me show you the salad dressing. It's so good. So in here, I just have two ripe avocados, juice of one lemon, one garlic clove, a lot of cilantro, and salt. And I just blended it. Well, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Thank you, with a little water. And it's really thick and creamy. I'm gonna have a base of lettuce, shredded carrot. Oh man. Thank you. Some tomatoes. And then I need to put on some kind of chopped walnut. I need to do some research and think of something hearty to add on top or else I'll be so hungry that I guess there'll be room for dessert. And this little lady and my husband are gonna be eating what I would rather be eating, which is this baked peanut and broccoli sheet pan dinner. I can link it below. I also prepped some sweet potatoes for tomorrow. So I'll enjoy these tomorrow, but for today, raw vegan, going strong. 
Okay, so I found this walnut taco meat and I have sun-dried tomatoes. They're in oil. Actually, I don't think I have a lot, but I might try to make something work so that I have something hearty to put on top. Um, but I'll show you the final result. is loving this dip. Avocado anything and cilantro. She loves it. All right, I'm making some raw walnut meat. I just finally chopped up like a fourth cup of walnuts and one large sun-dried tomato and oil. I'm just gonna add in some cumin powder, garlic powder, and a little salt. And yeah, that's actually really good. And I thinking it will help me stay a lot more full, especially with the avocado dressing. So, yay for this. So here's my final salad that I'm finally excited about. I was a little worried that I'd be eating some lettuce and avocado for dinner, but I made this raw taco meat, and I got the avocado dressing on some greens and veggies. Yeah, actually really excited about this meal. I'll write all the recipes in the description below.